What is up, people? Video Game XD, and we are back with another video. Today on Gamer DVD and Blu ray buys, I did a little shopping at Play On in Davison, Michigan. Make sure you guys check out Play On. You know the deal movies, electronics. They got everything in there, and they got a nice Christmas kind of setup going on right now. And they were playing the original Home Alone when I walked in. That was pretty cool. Love the original Home Alone. Classic movie. It's Christmas time, and I just got paid. So you know what? Why not do a little splurging and pick up some movies, pick up some video games? And my girlfriend actually got a Blu-ray online. So let's check out what I picked up. Now, my girlfriend got this, and I'm actually jealous, because this is a classic Nickelodeon TV show from back in the 90s, the good old days, and uh, this is on Blu-ray, it is the Nickelodeon series, Are You Afraid of the Dark, on Blu-ray. Now, at first I'm like, whoa, that came out on DVD or Blu-ray, I didn't even know. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, this looks pretty legit. I mean, look at the back. It looks pretty legit. Artwork looks really clear. But I was staring at it, I'm like, I don't know, this could be a bootleg. And then I look at the disc, and they're just kind of white looking. I'm like, hmm. Then I look at the back, and yes, I can tell... This is, in fact, a bootleg by just looking at the back of it. I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but it is a bootleg. But for a bootleg, I'm going to I'm gonna say this. This is damn professional. This looks nearly legit, like packaging-wise. Whoever made this did an incredible job. Uh, we popped it in. It actually had the Nickelodeon intro and everything. It, looked, it actually looks like a legit um, in-store retail copy. I can't believe this was never on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, maybe it was on DVD, I don't know. But on Blu-ray, this is a bootleg. So uh, I go way back with this show. So does she. She used to watch it back in the day at Nickelodeon. Back when Nick was good. Now it's fucking... It's probably fucking... It's garbage now. But back in the 90s, Nickelodeon was one of the coolest... Coolest cartoon and TV show channels of all time. Same thing with uh, Cartoon Network back then, when it was good. And uh, this bring, brings back a lot of memories. The quality is actually very good for Blu-ray. Uh, it doesn't look quite like 1080p HD because it's such an old TV show. But it's it still, it still looks pretty damn good. It looks better than DVD quality. So she got that on Blu-ray. That is a classic. I'm jealous. I want that. So, All right, this is what I got. First three are Gamer Grabs. For the Xbox 360 coming at you for $399, it is WWE 13. And this is a classic, um, I consider it a classic now, it's almost 10 years old. It's about like 8 years old. Um, this actually had the Attitude Era in it, and that was one of my favorite uh, eras of all time in wrestling. And I consider this a WWF game. I know it says WWE, but man, I'm telling you. Once you play the Attitude Era mode in this game, and you unlock all the Attitude Era guys, it feels like this should be a WWF video game. Condition's really good. I have this on the PS3. I actually beat this game 100% on the PS3. But I did not own it for the, the 360. And I loved it so much, I want both versions. Like, this is... To me, this and 14 were the last really good WWE wrestling games. They really were... They were mixed between sim, simulation, and arcade. It was kind of mixed between both. Whereas now it's just simulation. It's fucking... It's so confusing to learn the controls. I hate the new WWE games. They fucking... Gameplay-wise, I don't like them. But 13 was one of the last good ones. And the Attitude Era mode in this fucking game was incredible. I loved it. it took me back to being a kid. It felt like SmackDown 2 on steroids. The only thing this game was missing, honestly that I can complain about was there was no backstage roaming like SmackDown 2, SmackDown 3, you know, the old SmackDown games. If they would have had backstage roaming, I probably would have liked this better than SmackDown 2. And SmackDown 2 is one of my favorite wrestling games on the PlayStation, but OG PlayStation. Anyways, um, 
yeah I got that for four bucks that's a deal four dollars the next game I got this for one dollar that's it a dollar you can't pass up a dollar game come on Medal of Honor Rising Sun for the OG Xbox the original Xbox this was a great great Medal of Honor game see these are the games I enjoy Medal of Honor I'm not into Call of Duty I'm sorry that shit is overrated overhyped feels like every year they're coming out with a new Call of Duty but Medal of Honor it is complete by the way was a fantastic war series back in the day conditions it's all right it's got some fingerprints but no, nothing too bad um yeah man this series was great back then i loved rise this is probably my favorite medal of honor game the the story mode in this you can do uh split screen co-op in the story mode in this and you get deathmatch mode too so i really enjoy games like this and i got it for a dollar i used to uh i think i used to own this on the gamecube gamecube i do have this on the ps2 but now I got it for the Xbox. One buck. What a fucking deal. The next game, I got this also for a dollar. That's it. It is Splinter Cell Stealth Action Redefined. For the OG Xbox. This is the original Splinter Cell. I know there's a bunch now. There's like over like... Let's see. There's Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory. Fucking... What was that one? I just bought it the other day. Yeah, it's complete. One dollar. Condition's really good. I, I never really got big into the original Splinter Cell. Uh, Pandora Tomorrow was very good. Don't get me wrong, they're great games. It's just I never got big into them until, like, Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory is fucking amazing. I liked how that was uh, split screen or co-op or whatever. Offline. That was, that was fun as shit. But this was only one player. The, the second game was only one player. It was multiplayer online. But it wasn't until Chaos Theory where they actually brought um, offline multiplayer. So that's why that one's my favorite one. I'm a multiplayer guy. So these were my gamer grabs, you guys. Very cheap. Now let's check out the movies I picked up. These are all DVD grabs. On DVD, there were three bucks a piece, most of them. Some of them were actually a dollar or two. This one was three bucks. Juno. Starring Ellen Page, or should I say Elliot Page now? Yeah, she's transgender, but okay. Um, I never seen this movie, never seen it. But I heard good things. Uh, I guess it's a movie with. Some dude who gets this bitch pregnant, and I don't know. That's all I know about it, but it, people are telling me it was pretty good. This is the best picture of the year. So, yeah, picked it up. I did not own it. On DVD, I got this for my daughter because she loves this movie. I love it, too. It's a classic in my eyes. It came out back in, like, 07. For three bucks, it is kick-ass. Kick-Ass was fucking awesome. This is a great, great fucking movie. Uh, I think it's a little violent for her age. She's pretty young, but she loves it. She's seen me watching it one day, and she's like, Dad, I love this movie. Oh, my God. I love Hit Girl. She loves Hit Girl. She wants to be just like Hit Girl. and She she enjoys it, so I'm, I got it for her on DVD. I got it on Blu-ray, but she always wants to watch my copy. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to buy her it. Maybe it could be like a Christmas gift, or I can just give it to her. She loves this movie. I love it, too. I've seen it a million times, though. It's like, Sarah, you want to watch that movie again? I'm getting burned out. But she's like, yeah, I want to. Like, she constantly wants to watch this. And I still like it. It's just I've seen it a million times. Um, three bucks on DVD. The next movie for, for uh, $3. Silent Hill Revelation. This was a freaky ass movie. I like the first one way better. This one wasn't, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't all that great. The first Silent Hill movie was really good. This one was just okay. Um, I did not own it on DVD though. So uh, why not put it in my Silent Hill collection? The next movie on DVD for three bucks. Big Mama's House. 
with Martin um, Martin Lawrence. I actually seen this in the theater when it came out, and I laughed my fucking ass off. This movie is hilarious. I've seen it so much, so many times throughout the years, though. It's not as funny as it used to be, but man, when this came out, man, this was funny as shit. I loved the original Big Mama's House. Um, yeah, there was there was Big Mama's House two and three. Those ones I didn't, I never got big into, but. Uh, this one was really good. I liked the first one. Surprisingly, I didn't own it. On DVD for $3. I got this for my daughter as well. Dude, where's my car? This movie I seen in the theater. Also when it came out. Loved it. It's a stoner movie. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people consider this one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's... Like, to me, it's a classic because I grew up with it in the theater when it came out back in 2000, which was 20 fucking years ago. You know, I'm feeling old now. But my daughter loves this movie. She, she always watch, see me watching it. She's like, Dad, I love this movie. Dude, where's my car? So I have it on DVD, but I, I bought it for her because it's one of her favorite movies. So I got that for her. On DVD for $1.00. National Lampoon's Van Wilder, The Rise of Taji. I think I did see this on TV before. I thought it was alright. Uh, the first one is the best, but um, this one was alright too. It's with uh, the dude from Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. It's Harold. Or no, it's Kumar. It's Kumar. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I have the first Van Wilder, but I didn't have this one, so why not pick it up for a dollar? The next movie for one buck, Hitch, with Will Smith and Kevin James. It was alright. I remember when it first came out, the trailer looked really good, but then I seen it and I'm like, eh, it was okay. Um, but it was only a dollar. So that's pretty cool. The next movie on DVD for one buck, Minority Report with Tom Cruise. I think I seen this a few times back in the day. I remember it being advertised a lot in on HBO and stuff, but I can't remember it for some reason, and I did not own it, it's a two disc uh, collector set or something, and the final movie I picked up for one dollar, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, this is another movie where the, the trailer looked fucking hilarious, and I, I'm like, this has got to be the best Jim Carrey movie ever. Like, at the time, I'm like, this has got to be his best movie. This is going to be funny. And then I seen it, and I'm like, eh, eh, it was all right. Like, it was okay. Like, I, the trailer looks so funny, but then I see, you know, it's one of those movies where the trailer looks way better than the actual movie itself. It wasn't a bad movie. I thought it was just okay, but the trailer made it look like it was going to be hilarious. But uh, it was all right. Sadly, I think this is around the time Jim Carrey was uh, falling off. In Hollywood, I, I didn't think he was as funny as he used to be. But those are all my pickups, you guys. Uh, my girlfriend got "Are You Afraid of the Dark" on Blu-ray. Bruce Almighty on DVD. Minority Report. Hitch. National Lampoon's Van Wilder: Rise of Taji. Dude, where's my car? Big Mama's House. Silent Hill Revelation. Kick ass. Juno. Splinter Cell for the OG Xbox. Metal of Honor Rising Sun for the OG Xbox. And WWE 13. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow the video game XD on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Like us on Facebook. You know the rest. I'm Charles Reed. Happy Holidays.